beating someone who who thought or you know came into something knowing or th or you know assuming that they were going to get the best of you on that day and uh, I knew it was going to take some time um, but I always I always definitely believed 100% that Guam was capable of beating big countries and we are capable of achieving a lot more in that regard and so I'm still working hard I'm still excited about it um, I can say I'm just as excited now uh, to play for Guam and represent Guam as I was then as a 14-year-old on my first trip. So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's, uh, it's a big part of me, no doubt about it. It is, I mean, obviously, personally, I believe it's, it's the greatest sport um, in the world. I think it does a number of things um, on an individual basis, but also um, collectively. I think it shows a, a, a representation of what the world uh, can be. Um, but yeah, for me, it, it's taught me a lot of things about life, about myself, um, about uh, the kind of person I want to be. And um, you know, it's it's a lot, like I said. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I, I, I like the two points that you touched on, and they'll kind of lead into each other. Is um, it's shown you what you can be. As, and before that, you mentioned um, for you, it's an example of what the world could be. So we'll get into that later. Right now, let's get into uh, that where it's shown you a lot what you could be. Start from the beginning, like what you thought you were and then what you start to find out about yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, growing up on Guam, I think we're all, at least initially, um, you know, obviously... Uh, Kind of in a small small world so to speak right so um not really understanding what's out there uh, from a young age uh, football kind of gave me that basis the tools necessary um to a get the opportunity to go abroad um, and test myself against uh, other people trying to do the same thing but b also uh, in the bigger sense um, it gave me the tools to navigate the world um, to reach out and create relationships um, and really kind of hone in on uh, on what what the big picture is at least for me but yeah for you know being from Guam we we grow and, and on our first trips going off island with the national team we get we get pummeled you know and that can be a tough thing um, for a young kid to experience why don't you tell us about the first like defeat like the first time you got your ass handed to you um, Cause that's, I mean, that's you yeah, know what I mean. The first time we traveled you internationally um, was for the U16 national team. Uh, I was 14 years old. I was the captain. We went to Nepal, mm -hmm. um, and this was 97, 98. Uh, so it was still back then, especially for uh, AFC Asian Football Confederation. Um, somewhat young in, in the in the overall world landscape of football. Um, so in Nepal, you know, the, the tournament was supposed to be uh, in Kathmandu, but they ended up moving it to a small town on the border of India. Um, so right when we get there, we stay a night in, uh, in Kathmandu and watch the sunrise from our hotel. But then on the next day, we embark on an 18-hour bus ride through, you know, uh, a mountain pass um, going through different villages and whatnot and uh, and yeah you know if you were on a regular kind of road I think it would have taken us one to two three hours but because of obviously being on a mountain pass mm -hmm. and, and the kind of um, infrastructure that was out there at the time um, or lack thereof it, it made for quite the journey um, but yeah even that I, 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 I remember um, just at one point a, a young kid actually had gotten uh, hit by a car on the pass. Um, so uh, when we got to the village where the accident happened, uh, the village shut down the road. Um, you know, so we had to get down. We didn't have a choice. They weren't letting anyone through. Um, so even just seeing then, that was my first like real big eye opener. I'd been to Manila um, for soccer before. We went to play Xavier School, so I had seen some of the provinces and and, and whatnot. Um, but just seeing absolutely, uh, you know, really like shanty style, um, 
you know, just dirt, you know, they got whatever they're using, tin or what, what it may be, wood to, to build their, their homes. Um, but seeing their interaction with each other, um, seeing that even though they lacked uh, what we would be used to in terms of uh, running water and electricity and, you know, a paved road, um, you know, the joy that they got just from uh, their interactions with themselves and then their curiosity and joy from interacting with us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that was like my first big eye opener and tournament abroad. Um, so, you know, again, and not, not knowing the language, right? The, the language uh, barrier, but just seeing it as a human on our very basic level, yeah. um, there was a connection, you know, uh, a smile, a wave. Right. Um, you know, and they were curious because we were, were different. And, um, but yeah, so when we get to... It's just on your way to the game. Yeah, it's just on our way. It's just on our yeah. way to, to <clears throat> the, uh, the town that was hosting the, the tournament. But yeah, the, you know, we got there and uh, we stayed with this, in the same hotel as the Naples team. And um, all of them were, you know, again, I was 14. It was a U16 tournament. Uh, I won't say all of them, but a good amount of them were uh, in their 20s. You know, some have kids already. Um, again, like I said, this was like kind of in the younger days for Asian Football Confederation. So a lot of teams were, were just sending older players at that point. Whether right. Their birth certificates were... So you guys were playing against grown men. Yeah, we played okay. against we played against Nepal. We get played against Bangladesh, and I believe we played against one more team. Um, but yeah, we got. I think the Na- Na- Nepal game was eight nil. Bangladesh was more, um, and that was really my first experience of getting as as you said my ass handed to me. Um, but I but I, as much as I remember, the whooping we got, you know, I really remember that none of us stopped trying, right. you know? And it wasn't like, a, a, you know, just an act, right? Like, I'm just pretending to defend at this point. Like, everybody gave everything they had. Um, and we weren't the most technical, but I can guarantee every team from that tournament remembers us just because of our sheer effort. Mm. And, you know, that was my first real understanding of there's going to be moments in your life where you're going to give everything you have. And you're going to feel going into it prepared, etc. And there may be variables that you can't control, like this guy's age, right? It's supposed to be up and up, but it's not. But it doesn't matter. You know, you, you give everything. And um, the bond that, that I created with those teammates, you know, I'm still close with all the guys um, from those teams. Um, you know, and, and we were one of the first youth teams to represent Guam. But, yeah, I mean, I know for a fact that everyone gave 100%. Um, and that was a good lesson for me, you know, it was a good lesson for me because A, it showed me like, I, I kind of like that, you know, that just that fight, that grit, that that battle. Um, but B, again, learning to deal with adversity, um, learning to deal with a loss, right? Even when you do give everything, um, how do you handle it? How do you come back? Um, what's your mindset? So that was my first uh, experience with that. Not my last, <laughs> but definitely my first. And, uh, and, you know, it, it oddly enough, it, it made me hungrier. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to get over that hump. And, and, I'm, and I always had, um, you know, kind of that chip on our shoulder, my shoulder, because we are from Guam. We are, in the past, have been kind of expected to lose going into matches. Um, teams kind of used to uh, look down on us as kind of like a, a guaranteed win and almost like a, a, a stat uh Packer for some of them, right? How many goals can they score against Guam? How many assists? You know, what, whatever it may be. Um, and so that, you know, and I was always little uh, physically. I was always kind of the smallest guy, skinniest, but um, yeah, I definitely had a chip on my shoulder. I had a big mouth. And uh, I enjoyed, and I still enjoy uh, proving people wrong. <laughs> Go play. You know, there's a lot of young guys who, who don't really... Uh, believe in themselves completely because they they haven't had the opportunity to uh, measure themselves at least on a regular basis to where they know exactly where they stand and uh, as I was saying on a competitive level right correct and you know as we're saying like competence breeds confidence you know so if you know you're good if you know you put in the work um, then it's just then the next guy is just another opponent you know and it's like all right let's test myself it's an opportunity 
Um, and for me, that's that's always you know the best part. It's like here's another opportunity to re represent Guam, um, prove someone wrong, you know, and show these young kids like like we said, bro, you're good here, you're good anywhere, and uh, and that's what I'm trying to show them. I'm trying to show them and uh, communicate with them like work hard here, put the work in. You have the opportunities, and when you get your chance, when you go off island, when you're going to represent Guam, when you're going to represent yourself on these trials or whatever it may be, when you go to the states. Um, just do it, man. Do it. Do it with everything and believe in yourself 100% because you're so much uh, more capable than you know. And, you know, <clears throat> for somebody like you, and it, it's not, there's a reason why you're at the level that you're at. And it's, I think it's part of the crux of that is you were, you were saying that you don't get nervous, right? You get, and I was like, you get excited, don't you? And you're like, yeah, you get excited. So, and some people might misunderstand or, or, uh, mistake the, the the two for one another right so why do you get excited uh yeah I, I, at, on the deepest level you know yeah, what I, mean? I, like, I love football and you know like I, I i really like football is it's a mental game first and foremost um you're literally out maneuvering outsmarting um and outworking outworking the, the other team you know and and it's, intelligence is the biggest thing so Again, when we're beating it in India, when we're beating a Turkmenistan, when we're when, when we're going toe to toe with you know like teams in our region now that are maybe ranked a few uh, ahead of us, like a Hong Kong, you know, it's it's literally a chess match, and um, you know it's our opportunity once again to, to again prove people wrong that we are capable, that we are uh, uh, improved tenfold from our past, um, and that's probably the best part of it. Jules is we have so much more potential mm. like there's so much more for us to achieve and that's why you know people are like you know my head coach Carl asked me he said what's your why it's like well I still got so much more to achieve our island is so like with the players that we have with the coaching staff with we have um, you know and, and that's part of probably my uh, biggest frustration sometimes is uh, not being able to um, take the opportunities available, um, not being able to create uh, the proper environment um, for our younger players uh, to give them the, the, the pathway that they need to, to reach that potential, mm -hmm. to fulfill that potential. Because um, we have some very, very, very talented uh, young boys and girls. And um, yeah, I just think we can do a lot more and, and we're capable of a lot more. So I'm excited. Um, because we have some things that we're working on, we have some projects that we're, that, you know, we're, we're putting together to uh, cre create that um, exposure here, um, to create that environment here, and to help these these kids uh, take it to the next level, and, and you know, in the future, beat the Japans, beat the Sahus, beat the Australians. Speaking of taking it to the next level, what's going on back here? <laughs> <laughs> The pig hunters. Working on their technique. 